What is digital respect? Digital respect? I'm not sure. No <laughs> clue. Okay. I've been cyberbullied myself. Uh, it hurts, right? Just like normal bullying. Think before you type. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell that somebody's really a coward. Like, they don't even want to face you when they're trying to say something to you. It just makes it harder for us to uh, get away from it all. Like, sometimes people are afraid to, like, of getting in trouble. If they say it to their face, they can get into a lot of trouble in school for saying it. But online, you don't even have to be yourself. It can be, you can hide. I have two classes working on a cyberbullying um, movie project, grade 9, they're about 14, 15, and grade 10, 15, 16 years old. Cyberbullying is kind of easier because you can just make yourself anonymous and you can just, you know, uh, keep yourself quiet, keep it discreet. As in bullying, like face-to-face, uh, -face, you know, you know who it is. You either tell someone or tell them to back off or whatever you want. And, uh, that's why cyberbullying makes it easier for kids to get, to bully kids and it makes it harder for kids to stop it. Um, one time I was part of a gaming community around two three years ago and what happened is that uh, I was playing on the server and apparently they thought I was uh, trading with CRT. So what happened is that we had a huge argument online and a bunch of swear words and things were flying out. Eventually I just left the online forum but it really affected me today because uh, I know how it feels and it really feels bad on a personal level. It, it stays with you. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that there's cyberbullying in our world today. And uh, my two sisters have both been cyberbullied, both by people who are really stupid, and I'm pretty sure they just did to make themselves feel bigger. It's not one bully, it's so many people insulting you. You like your entire classroom stood up and started insulting you. That cyberbullying is not a good thing. You know, if you're, you make the person feel insecure and have, you know, nowhere else to go, even at home, they're being, you know, bullied, um, and there's like nowhere that seems safe for them to be. They could go outside of just school. Quite a few people didn't like me in elementary school because I came in after kindergarten and after kindergarten everybody had their little friends and everything. And basically, when she came in fifth grade, we were best friends because we were both outsiders. Yeah, because I was a new kid. And there was particularly one person who didn't like me at all. And he especially didn't like my mom because she's not skinny. So he sent me emails making fun of her, making fun of me, making fun of my family, my house, the way I lived. So when Miss Bray brought up this project, we, we thought that would be a good idea to do it. Yeah, it kind of hit close to home. play this game online and I decided to make my film about that game and because there's a lot of cyberbullying going on and I'm just trying to make people aware of it. What we're doing right now is that the YouTube comments that were posted, like I'm in a YouTube video and for example and people post on it, we were taking those comments and like applying them to real life and see the adverse effects that will happen in reality. And basically for my film, um, I'm going to have a girl basically sitting at a computer and she's going to get a lot of um, mean things sent towards her she's going to be sad. So she's going to go to her room and basically her father's going to go and tell her that by telling an adult or someone else it'll be a lot better uh, and that they can help them. So that's basically the message I want to get across. We had like a few people come up who've actually been cyberbullied and talked about who they talked to and like how they dealt with them. Uh, we also asked them things like what kind of websites would you find it on? Uh, and we just like made the film because we wanted to like show people that there is people out there that are going through it too. In our video it's kind of well, really yeah, depressing like, but we're trying to show like the max it, that it can happen and how far someone could take it. So like you see like what like people do, like people go to like all extents, like, some people try to commit suicide. What I kind of tried to do is make it, you see bullying, 
like everyone knows what bullying is, it's no secret. But then you see him get bullied and then you see after school when he's all done, you see him, you know, receive the the hate mail. And I was just trying to trying to give the idea, well all of us were that it just doesn't stop during school. It it continues even when you're out of school. And you see that in our video. At the end we have a part where uh, we haven't filmed it yet, but we're gonna he's gonna climb on top of his roof and then like what we want to do to make it a lot more dramatic is there's gonna be like a hard sound in the background. It starts like slow and then gets faster and faster and faster. And then like he he's like on his roof and then he walks towards the edge and then the screen just goes black and then you see him again but he's on the floor dead. Throughout the whole thing we have little uh, uh, little statistics and stuff. We want to show that it's not just words, that they actually do hurt people. Mm -hmm. And that if you are being cyberbullied, to like talk to your friends or somebody else and tell them what's happening. Tell people that you have to talk to someone else and just to ignore what they're saying and talk to someone. And just let them know that they're not alone and that they can have friends help them or something.